I don't I don't understand why they um uh, why with with Ben Ben and Joel, I was like, why why are y'all just pick and rolling the shit out of everybody? But who's gonna guard the pick and roll with you two? Cause man, at the same time, that's you gotta take some off that gear. You're talking about pick and roll with he ain't going to score. Boy ain't looking at the rim. I know, but it's it's so even if we yeah we we gonna do sag it. You so you that that pick and roll is so low, like what I'm doing the pick and roll below the free throw line. What for? First of all, if you come off that thing, and even if I go under, do whatever you want behind it. Do whatever <laughs> you still coming to me. Mm-hmm. You run, run me over. So he come out that pick and roll, even depending on how low it is and shit like that. Yeah, we can tap it. He can go under or. If we switch it or whatever, we got Joel. Back, boom on someone like it depends on who's guarding Ben. A guard? No. Who's guarding Ben? Two, when to keep it regular four. Oh, you're yeah, keeping a regular four. Three on four. Him? Man, you're supposed to be three four. All that. We're speed. not putting no guards on that for what? Just because he's bringing the ball up the court, <laughs> man, beat it. <laughs> yeah, see, beat that's, it. See that's why, man. Beat it. it. I had to be his coach, man. You go. You go take go go. Three for 35, man. Just... I ain't gonna lie to you. Beat it. <laughs> he bringing the ball up the court is different from a Giannis bringing the ball mm-hmm. up the court now. Because he's trying Freak to... bringing the ball up the court? Okay, now, we might throw, like, you feel me, like a, uh, we might throw uh straight deep. We might, we'll throw a tuck on him, you feel mm-hmm. me, if somebody showed them. Uh, keep, we'll keep throw, it. we throw, uh, now they'll probably throw a Drew Holiday on him, you feel me, John is switching, you feel me, make him pick it up and really have to use the package size. But, Ben... Man, no disrespect nobody, but I ain't gonna lie to you, my boy. We, we ain't even picking him up for a court. We gonna let him go ahead and bring it up across half, and then whatever you do from there, my, you are gonna make yourself smaller because nine out of ten, bro, you ain't gonna really shoot the ball. Like you just trying to facilitate. And see, and that's and that's like that's you trying thing. to pass the ball eighty five to ninety percent of the time. You got it, my boy. What? And that, ain't hurting people us. Don't, that's what I said. People don't understand. Like you can't like to li- like if he like if he comes off and turns the corner at least four or five times and go try to dunk Young, it. Just game. try to dunk it. Now that's a different coverage for us. Cause now you got to switch and now you got to be on your toes or he might run around you or like, mm-hmm. come. but when you coming off and you coming off wild or you coming off and just throwing it back or something, man, that's the <laughs> easiest coverage. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, so my, my, um, my general manager, he played for the Knicks, uh, Grunfield. He told me something that I just never processed early in my career. And, you know, I was, you know, debating like, you know, what kind of point guard I need to be. And he was like, listen, listen, listen. If you have the ball 10 times, try to score 10 times. If they stop you from scoring and you can't score, you make the pass. Sure. Right? And he says, think about what I'm saying. If you're going in there and they literally stop you, right. how many people are open? Right. Right? Now, if you, they stop you 10 times in a game, you draw, drove 90 times and they stopped you 10 times, that's 10 open passes. If they're shooting 60% out of the group, that's six assists. Right? Right? He said, you sitting there trying to be a passer, it's hurting this up. guy's a shooter. Yeah. He's not a creator, so he's not open, right? Because he come, who, who got him open? Your office. So when you look at the most aggressive players, right, think about the people who are leading the NBA. In reality, they're called ball hogs, right? Russell, lead the league in assists, right? You, Trey Young, lead the league in assists, right? You're, you're, you're three Top assist players every year are the ones you're calling ball hogs. Right. But they're actually the best passers because they're just aggressive. Right. Being a passer is different than being a playmaker. You want to be playmakers. Sure. Right now, Ben Simmons has been a passer right. when he needs to be a playmaker. Right? It's, it's, a, it's, it's those are the things. Like, you be aggressive. When you stop me, boom, you're open. Right. If you don't stop me, score. If this man helps, boom. But the only way this man is going to help is if you're driving. Okay, now you want to jump? Boom. Dump it off. Easy layup. Like, it's different with going in and you feel me not having an answer to the test with having an answer to the test. Mm-hmm. You go in there and you guard him, it's like you got an answer to the test. Because whatever he comes off and shit like that, even if he may beat you or stuff, just try to beat him to the next spot because he's not going to shoot it. Mm-hmm. So that's that's a tough, you feel me, match there. So, Ben, if you're watching this, you get some buckets, chick. <laughs>